Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Simulator Classic video. We're back on the ATS chat moss route and I believe we're in the class 802. Uh, we're going to be doing a run from Manchester over to Liverpool Lime Street. On a much nicer looking day than on the last video if you've already seen that one. Uh, yes, it looks a lot nicer. Uh, it's a rolling start so let me quickly unpause that. We'll get in the cab. Uh, put the HUD on. Uh, let's uh, get that up. I believe we are diesel. I don't know why are the wipers on. Where are the wipers? No, let's get them. We don't need them up. Does GSMR work? GSMR doesn't work. So yeah, this is the AP um, class 802 enhancement pack. Oh, that's 185. So we've got Manchester Victoria. It's the same station as before. Manchester Victoria. Uh, Newton or Willows. Um, what's the other one? Lee Green and then Liverpool Lime Street. It's proper steep down here. Hopefully, we'll be able to show CDRA because I think CDRA works at Manchester Victoria. If, if, if it's not, if it's not on this one, I'll be, I'll, I'll, it'll be a little bit disappointing. I know it's on one of them. I know, I know some scenarios have it, but not every scenario has it. So I think you have to script it and stuff. They do just sort of technical stuff. It might be on this one though. Maybe that Manchester Victoria. Yes, yeah, so this was a rolling start scenario. We didn't start anywhere else. So as we go right down to the end. Oh, hang on. Uh, I don't know why it says RA already. That might be because this one maybe doesn't have it. it. Might just be select scenarios which have it. That would do. Go back to a stop. Do that and press U, I think it is. This is a Manchester Victoria. Yeah, so you can see it says RA on there at the moment already. So yeah, I think the scenario probably doesn't have it. But what it would do, um, I think once the time comes to actually show, close the doors, it will say CD, for closed doors. And then once the doors are all shut and all the bill lights are out, or external orange hazard lights, um, it will then say RA, which is right away. But I don't think this uh, scenario... Oh, hello. I don't know why that is. It's because I, I, I still haven't done it. I need to reinstall um, the AP enhancement pack for this. I just think that is already because it seems to be overlaying the old um, old IET on this one. But that's no biggie. It will do. There's the horn. But yeah, we wait. I don't know how long we're here for. We're here until 22 past. Okay, that is a few minutes. Uh, I shall see you all in a few minutes. Right, a couple of minutes have passed, and we're almost, almost at the point now. Because we're, we're getting there. But look, just look at the detail of Manchester Victoria. I'm just, uh, I suppose, a yeah, picture back to Northern Transpennine, which is set in the 80s, and how much has changed. I mean, you've got the whole tram bit here. It's just like wow to see it all off. There's a diesel going. See all of the changes. Have a look around the station. Do they actually ever make it up here? The class seven six nines. I know you've got the three one nines, but not the seven six nines. I don't think so. Oh, that, they're going that way as well. We got B and they got C. Have they got D next door? They've got D next door. Right, it should be any second now we're due out. And we've got 40 minutes, 40-ish uh, minutes uh, to um, to Liverpool. Just ignore the weird screen. That That's my fault for not reinstalling the uh, 800 or the RET enhancement pack. To sort of merge his fingers together weirdly. 
Do we have a guard? We do, it's the dying duck sounding signal bell. It's funny, right, let's go. For a minute I was like, uh, are we gonna go? I feel like we would change over to electric power. We haven't done that. Yeah, I feel like we probably should change to electrical. Should should have changed there. Didn't say that, did it? Ah, that's, yeah. We were meant to change to electric mode, but we haven't. Can we do that on the move? I think you can do it on the move. I know on East Coast Mainline you do it on the move, so we should be alright doing it on the move. I'll right, we'll do that. Let's try and do it on the move. I can't remember if you can do it. I know on the East Coast Mainline, I think, yeah, you keep it in forward. If you put it into neutral, the brakes would come on. Uh. Yeah, let's give it a go. I don't think there's anything we need to do. Just check in all the bits and bobs. Um Yeah, we're coming out of here at the moment, so that's all good. Let's let's try. Oh there's buttons to do, it, isn't there, I think. Hmm. That's what's gone up. Doesn't really mean anything though. We'll still, we'll still be on. Um, yeah, we're still on diesel. We need to change to electric mode. I can't exactly remember how we do that. There's a hotkey for it, and I want to find that hotkey. And you have to press like control. There's something. There's a button for it. You you have to press. I was just trying to remember that button. But yeah, you can do it on the move. But it's on the um, Azumas. I'm pretty certain you can do it on the move. So we'll just sort of stay how we are at the moment. Um, and hopefully we can... Um, we can, we'll be alright. Fingers crossed. And let's install the uh, manual again. Every time I have I come on this try and I have to use the manual. Probably shouldn't have the pants graph up at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's quite cool, the little arrows there as well. Um, let's see, electric and diesel mode. That's probably what we want to look at. Page 16. I will find it. I will find it. Okay, here, ah, here we go. So, diesel to electric. Ensure the reverse is away from off. Oh, it's already away from off. Not in any power position. Hold the electric button down by pressing N. Okay, well, let's put the pattern graph down. I probably shouldn't be up. We're testing it, we were testing it. I'll do that. I should then. Yeah, see, so it was it was never up. It was never up. Uh, and then hold N. And there we go, that's what we want, yeah. Right. Cool. Raising, is that, is it, we're gonna race. Oh, it's race four. Easy as that. And hopefully we can then get. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's lit up, so we should now be good. Yeah, there we go. So we're now on electric. Which is what we, we should be. Easy. <laughs> oh, we got up to 75. I think going the other way, yeah, it was. Um, it came down to what, 75, then 50, then 30. Yeah, there's the 50 warning board. I don't know what video is going out first, either the one in the 185 or this one. Probably the one in the 185. That was a bit slow, guys. Slowing this train along there, 75. So it's so used to being in this train at 125. So when you go sort of this speed, it's just like, come on then, let's go. 
uh, nice screenshot of the sun. Or at least the train and the sun. Get one on this side as well, on the dark side of it. We've got the interior as well. The lovely seats. Not. How many miles is it to Liverpool? 28 miles, so what's that? So 30, 32, 33 miles the route. Yeah, so it's not as big as um, Cambridge Peter. I think that's probably more. Um, and yeah, definitely not as big as King's Cross to King's Lynn, which I think is 99 miles long. So crazy like that. Well, I think the plan for this route is to make it a network. Like I saw, it was quite a while back, actually. Uh, but I think they want to make this sort of a network. I know there is cruise control. I can't remember how to use it, though. It's like another hotkey or something. Um, yeah, I think they want to make it a network. Like a sort of almost Midlands, Northern network. So I think the Huddersfield line is going to be sort of built onto it. Um... Yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of just basically just loads of routes bundled together and new bits added on down to Manchester Airport and I think that's sort of the long term aim of this route is to have that sort of a whole network which will be cool 75 in this train feels so slow is it just me or does it feel really slow? Maybe it's because I've literally just driven the 185 and it's like, psh, like really just feels quick. Be cool to do this route on the 319 because the 319 does um, does run along here. Has done it since 2015. Northern Electrics. So this, uh, this is, oh, this begins with P, Pelt Ring. What's this one? Begins with P. Patricroft. 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 That's what it says. Eccles, Patricroft, and then Newton the Willows, I think it's the next one along. And then you've got L something. Elston? Elstown? And then tons of and then there's Lee Green after that. There's not many stations on here. Yeah, there's Elstown. So Newton or Willows. So, yeah, the next one along is Newton or Willows. Earl's Town. St Helens Junction. Lee Green. Rain Hill. And you got apps, and you got tons of stations coming into Liverpool. So St Helens Junction, Earl's Town, St Helens Junction, and Lee Green. That's basically the important ones to remember. Because it would be nice to learn this route like that. Where's the 90? Get us up. Even from the passenger view, it seems slow. Do 125 miles an hour along it. Easily be done. It's not like a speed restriction on here, is there? Yeah, we'll do there in 10 minutes. And now I'm okay. So about a mile a minute then. And then we've got that weird 60 limit. It's like 60, then back up to 75. And then 90 after that. Be interested to see why there is a 60 mile an hour limit here. Because it only lasts for a little bit. It's a bit like um, on the worry lines. There's that 20 miles an hour limit, which lasts for about 10 metres. Because there's like a, I think, a, it's only for uh, locomotives. It's only to the weight and there's like a weak bridge there or something. So they have to go quite slow over it. So I wonder if it's sort of similar on this route. Possibly. Get a warning board for it though, which is good. It's always handy having that. Just makes it easier to do it hotless. Let's get that 
up a little bit. And start slowing down for the city. Why is it sexy here? I have to have a little look. What is this? Is there a bridge? A level crossing? Maybe it's for the junction? Yeah, because it comes down, what's that, even 40 for if you're a freight train or a loco. Yeah, it must be, yeah, it's this, this thing here, whatever this is. It's a level crossing. Oh no, it's some sort of... Yeah, well that. That's almost like some sort of manual crossing. Now we get back to 75. To 90. Finally, hey. Yeah, it's nice to have another route up in the north. I mean, some people might class this as the Midlands, but as a, as a proper, you know, almost south coast, basically south coast person, this is north. So nice to have another sort of north route in the north. And also the 185, which we have now as well. Which is also pretty neat to have. So we can use it on a lot of uh, different routes. I mean, the Huddersfield line, that's one I would like to come back to. Which is like the Northern Trans Pennine of Trainsome Classic, but modern day. In fact, I've got quite a few more trains for that now. Because I think what, uh, when when that came out, I didn't even have the, um, the 150, the 15, I had none of them. But now I do, so I definitely have to revisit them. I do them hotless as well. Scenery as usual, looking good. Is there ATS them at this point? Go ahead and watch it going through the field, go, going past the fields. A lovely, lovely Transpennine livery. One of probably the most striking and probably one of the best liveries there is. Just so nice. And it works on like basically every train. I think the best looking one is the Nova 2. They look superb. But will they? going off as well. Make sure we're still awake. Got there, is that so I think the only train I didn't have was the 350. I think that was it. Um, so I'm quite tempted to pick that one up because basically every time I load in a scenario it's like missing trains, 350 enhancement pack and I think it's only like 6 quid or something like that is that one of the older ones, so I might get that and then we've got I think most trains on this route I mean, maybe missing some of the loco traffic I don't have many of the loco enhancement packs that's why I sort of didn't get much of this sort of northern stuff as I just didn't have the stock for it well, it's what most of the scenarios use. But now we do, so it makes things a bit easier. And there's Newton and the Willows. So what's the marker for Newton and the Willows then? I suppose for, go for going to Newton and the Willows, the from the other way, it's going past Earlstown, and you know it's quite close after. I suppose it would be this, wouldn't it? This junction. So that would be your marker to sort of, yeah, start getting ready to slow down. I mean, it's still a little bit of a way off. I'm going to this signal here. I mean, you're only going 90, and the brakes on this are pretty decent. I suppose it'll be that junction there, 
a neutral section here. So I'll soon maybe start slowing down after this bridge. Okay, look, that's a good marker for Newton the Willows then. So I'll just try, yeah, because I, I want to learn this Huddler, so I'm sort of trying to learn places to look out for. So was it Manchester, Victoria, Eccles, Patricroft, and then Newton the Willows? Maybe coming in a little bit quick. Actually, that is coming in very quick, actually. No, that, why are the brakes going off there? What are you doing? Oh, what's well, the short platform as well? Oh, that's just not good. What's going on there? I mean, it's not too bad. Could be worse. <laughs> Let's take the doors. Oh, dear. Don't open those ones. It's fine. You can light the train. In fact, it's a short platform anyway. <laughs> you can light the train from the rear four coaches today. Not the front four. The rear four. I didn't expect it to be that short of a platform. That's why I was coming in, you know, quickish. Because I thought, you know, Luton Newton and Widow sounds like quite a big place. It would have quite a long platform, but... No. So don't come into Newton and Widow's at 35, 40 miles an hour. It's just too short of a platform. Let me put that into neutral. It's all part of learning a route, that is. Oh, yeah, alright. Oh, God, it really is going all funny now, isn't it? Alright, okay. We know. We'll get that off in a second. It's not happy, is it? Let's just go on the outside. We'll sort that in a minute. Liverpool, Lime Street. Danger of death did not climb. Bloody hell, we're sat here for a while, aren't we? 40 part. Oh, not that. See the country on mate rates. Two together, rail card. I'm pretty high res, you can actually read that, which is surprising. Most of these you can't read. So that's the Mersey Road. Where's Mersey Road go to then? We're here, aren't we? Oh, it goes to, oh, it goes to Manchester. The Willows is on there. It's quite a big network, then. Oh, that's just the local rail network. Where's Mersey Rail, then? These ones? Where's Ormskirk? That's where the... Oh, there's Ormskirk. So we're getting that route on um, TSW4. Right, okay. Yeah, you've had enough screaming now. How do we get the screaming to be... Oh, we're going anyway. We were going now. Yeah, what's it still going on for? Oh. There we go, so let's press F. Yeah, Lee Green next. So hopefully we won't have a repeat of that in future. Now we know it's a bloody tiny, um, tiny platform there. It's a pretty nice sounding train. Nice. So Lee Green. So we've got Earl's Town, which is just round here. St so Helen's Junction, and then Lee Green. And I'm assuming Lee Green again probably has some sort of short platform. So hey, going to be careful. Shoot allowed. So that's Earl's Town. Where are we going? Oh, 
Okay. So we're due into a Lime Street in 20 minutes. Yeah, only 20 minutes now. So we're about half. Oh, this is a nice. Speed. It feels like you go so much quicker on here. It's only 90 miles an hour. I mean, it feels like a route which is very much capable of going, I mean, probably 125 miles an hour. Maybe it's the power lines, maybe they're not powerful enough. I think that's one of the reasons why the East Coast Main Line South, that's why on the slow lines, it's only 75. Because the power, you know, if the trains were all going over a hundred or so on the middle, just it couldn't handle it. Something like that. Could be wrong in saying that. Nice. Green that's St Helens Junction. Oh, that probably is Lee Green. Where's St Helens Junction? Oh, it must be here. So I suppose that would be uh, indicated that you are approaching Lee Green or Lay Green, Lee Green. Is there much here? It's a little village. Industrial estate on that side. <coughs> Just sort of learning your breaking points where you start slowing down for these stations. I mean, for Newton the Willows, I think we were probably all right with where we were breaking. We just needed to do it. Well, it was the platform length. For a normal 12 coach platform, that would have been fine. But obviously, Newton the Willows was uh, not a 12 coach platform in any shape or form. Like the bridge abutments there, but no bridge span. So that could be sort of a marker for Lee Green. But yeah, certainly a well detailed route, it's nice. I they even got like the um, rail head sort of within the uh, forefoot as well. As you know what network rail do, they sort of just leave the track in the middle. In the forefoot. At 25 miles an hour, that's probably a bit better. Two car stop lights to the end. Another short platform. I see what people mean when uh, a lot of people up north, when they come down to the south, and they see literally like 12 coach trains as like a. Um, as sort of a really common thing. And they're like, whoa, we don't get 12 coach trains up here. Are tiny. Yeah, the front might not open, but they have. So is that front four as well? Yeah, that would be front four as well. I went a little bit past because the stop mark is a bit further out. You see it on the nose. So front door would be all right. And after this, we're then straight into uh, Liverpool. So, what was after Lee Green? I think it was Rain Hill. Rain Hill. Has he got well Liverpool Lime Street, Edge Hill? What's that? Waver Tree Technology Park. Waver Tree. That that was a station there, wasn't it? That shut now. Oh yeah, here. Don't know if still any remains of it. Wave Tree Technology Park, Broad Green, Robbie, or Roby, what's that, Hoyton? Oh, that's Rain Hill, no, that's Whiston, and then Rain Hill. So Rain Hill, Whiston, Hoyton, Roby, Wave Tree, no, Broad Green, Wave Tree Technology Park, and then Edge Hill, and then Lime Street. Okay, I'll probably end up forgetting those. Wave Tree Technology Park, And was it Broad Green? Broad Green. Wave Tree Technology Park. 
Broad Green, Roby, Hoyton, Rainhill. That's what you gotta do, so we've got to keep repeating them. Broad Green, Roby, Hoyton, Rain. And oh, no, Wiston, no, yeah, Wiston, bloody Wiston. So Rainhill, Wiston, Hoyton, Roby, Broad Green, Waves for Technology Park, Edge Hill. And then I mean, I'll probably remember Waver Tree because um, that was a station just south of Edge Hill, I think, on the Spirit of Steam on TSW. That's quite that's an alright one to remember. Is that a free one now? What we got? It is a free one now, lovely. So this is Rain Hill. There's a lovely train there. Hopefully it hasn't set that off. Now we're all good. Oh my god, we are going a bit quick though. Not that quick train, come on. I leave the cab for one second and you speed him. So that was Rain Hill, so it is Wiston next. Wiston, Wiston, Wiston. But Wiston, isn't it? Wiston. Yeah, this will be a Wiston. I do like learning new stations. Just handy with someone else. Oh, where's, where's Wiston? Oh, it's, oh, it's up there. So it will be Hoyton next. It's like the Glossop plant which came out a few months ago on TSW. I've learned, I'd say, a fair amount of the stations on there. Was it Manchester, Piccadilly, Ashbury's, and I think after that's like Gorton, Fairfield, Fairfield, something like that, Guide Bridge, or Fairfield, Guide Bridge. Uh, Flowery Field, New Hyde, I think it is, New Hyde, and it goes up that way, sort of, yeah, uh, I, think then, yeah I think there's a Newton on there, Newton on there, Broadbottom, Hattersley, Glossop, yeah, it's just, I didn't think it's just good learning new stations. Something I like doing. So we're now coming into Liverpool now, or sort of the Liverpool vicinity, Liverpool area. This one, oh, we've got buses as well, nice. I thought we've got the bus shelters with the um, train station waiting shelters. This is Hoyton. Mm. And Roby next. Oh, Robbie, Robbie? Robbie or Roby? Be Robbie, couldn't it? Robbie. Robbie. And then it was then Wave Tree Technology Park. No, no, no. No, hang on. Broad Green. No. Oh, God. Broad Green. Broad Green? Yes, no. Yeah, Broad Green. Wait, yes. Yes, Broad Green next. It's good to test yourself. Sort of the stations. Because I'm sort of out in the countryside a bit now, but I don't think we are. It's one of those deceiving things. It's a bit like on the Harlem line. Where it feels like you're out in the countryside, but you're actually still in the middle of New York. Yeah, we're still in the middle of it all. What was that? It was like a bridge. That a river? Have we got a river down to the left of us? Oh no, motorway. Saw that there. Bridge. It's a broad green. Coming up to. We've got 75 coming up off the broad green. So you see how long it's 94. Like most of the way. 
And it's basically very similar speed limits either side as well. A bit of lag as we're sort of coming into, let's save it as well as we're coming into uh, Liverpool. Probably got a load a wave of tree, edge here, all that sort of area. Wave tree technology part. Up in here, 319. There it is, lovely. We'll drive one of them at some point on here. I think that one's about an hour to do actually in the uh, 319, so maybe we'll do that on a stream. Maybe there's some sort of semi fast one you can do. Right, this is a wave tree technology part. Oh, that 30's coming up quickly. No, not emergency. Oh, I didn't mean to put in emergency. It's very easy to flick it into emergency on this train. I think we should be in full. Well, we should be in 70% still. Or oh, maybe not. Maybe it is actually putting it right. That's annoying. That's easy things to do. That's at the 70. Hold it for a couple of seconds and you're in emergency. Red light, everyone. There was a red light. Don't panic. Be very careful. Well, that's quite quiet there. I wonder if you actually still got all the old bridges here. No, it looks completely different. Just pick Spirit of Steam as opposed to this edge here. There was like a bridge, wasn't there? A bridge that went up here and then right the way round and then sort of back and then... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all gone. All gone. Doesn't remain anymore. This way, you might as well stop at Edge Hill going at 30. But it might as well stop at Edge Hill. But it would only add on like an extra minute. Well, I suppose we're sort of on the throat, aren't we, to Lime Street. So if we stop here, then every other train would have to stop. There's only four platforms as well, I think. Maybe not then. That still looks quite similar to how it did in Spirit of Steam. There's not that much has changed there. So the sort of ramps coming down on either side. And the very cool looking um, sort of arches and cutting into Lime Street. Which I would say probably looks a lot better on this than on TSW. You can sort of see all the moss coming down the side and all the sort of greenery sort of growing out of it. So I've just sort of blank. There's a double yellow I think coming up. Most terminal stations just have a cool entry, don't they? This being one. That's what we've got to stop before the station, or we are running ooh, seven minutes early. So quite a lenient timetable. That's another one heading out. Back down even more. And this are actually allowed into the station as well, which is good. Might be that train coming out, and as I switch the points, we can now go in. It's 25 into there. This bit looks a bit different to the uh, 50s one. There's like more, there's like more tunnel. 
or more of a tunnel coming in. Platform three. So it's a single aspect signal that one. So all it can show is red or a single yellow. There's a 319 as well. What a 319. But yeah, enjoying Trainsome Classic at the moment. And I'm actually I'm recording this before Trainsome R4 comes out, which is only a few days now. So I thought we'll get a bit of Trainsome Classic and a couple of new bits on here to sort of let that time pass to TSW4. Because it's been just quite a dry couple of months of content, really. I mean, Train Some Classic, there's not really been any releases. Um, Train Some World, well, there's been none apart from Train Some World 4 coming. Um, Omsi, which is the other game we play, not really anything. It's been, yeah, just quite a dry couple of months. Enough for sort of content. Which doesn't help me do daily videos. <laughs> Well, we have got City Skylines 2 coming, and there will be uh, a series on that. Whether it will be popular or not, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. Right, we have got to be careful, because we have got a bit of a nose on our train. That'll do. Right. Uh, let's set that to full service. No, not emergency. Do the doors. Got to press T first. And they should should be open. Uh, set the DRA light wherever they are on this farm. Put them to tell. Cool. That was good. That was good fun. That. Well, uh, that is going to be everyone. There's a free one. Nice and lovely. Um, yeah, that's going to be everyone for today's uh, Train Sim Classic video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.